High Level has done it again. Earlier this year, I got an email from somebody at High Level saying, hey, you're one of the top reputation agencies that uses High Level, that's grown you know, a business with lots of customers. We want to hear some of your feedback. So I hopped on a call with somebody from High Level, basically showed them how we have this whole workaround system where we do all the review requests for the workflow instead of using the native review request feature. And she basically asked, hey, what would it take for you to use the native review request feature? And since we use nifty images to send out personalized images with the customer's name on it to get the highest review conversion rate, and since we wanted to adjust basically what the first message says versus the second message to have different follow-up messages, uh, we really couldn't use the native feature, which means that we couldn't use the native reporting of how many invites have we sent out. We couldn't use that dashboard to display all, all really the metrics to see. It was just kind of clunky, right? But now High Level has updated it and I want to show you what they've done. So this is going to help for simpler automations, easier onboarding process, more control from the customer. So if your your business that you're working with, uh, your client wants to basically edit their own templates, you can have training on showing them how to edit their own template without having to show them how to use, you know, the whole workflows or automations and stuff like that. And then even now we'll be able to just have that clean dashboard. We don't have to have a whole bunch of workflows to show, like try and get some reporting within the dashboard, which is what we had in the old snapshot. So let's dive into what this looks like. So if you go to your high level sub account, you click on reputation and then you click on settings. Now you can see if you click on SMS requests or email requests, now we have the ability to adjust the follow-up. So let's go to SMS here. We can turn this on and then you can see after check-in. So most of y'all aren't gonna be using check-in. You're gonna, we're actually gonna trigger this review request process off through a workflow. Instead, it'll still be easy. It'll still be a lot more simple than it was before, but you can just kind of leave this blank for now. And this section right here basically means until the link is clicked to leave a review, how often should we repeat requesting a review? And so you might want to set this to probably one day or two days and then set, maybe we'll do two days here and then set the maximum retries to three or whatever the customer wants to. So now it's really easy for us to go and just edit. If the customer wants to be really aggressive, you know, we can do five there. If they want to be not as aggressive, you can just do one there. And so it's really easy to adjust that. Used to, you had to do their custom values and my snapshot kind of handled all that, but it was still more complex. And so you're able to kind of adjust your settings there. And then where the re real magic comes is you can click on set SMS templates here and you can have a different SMS template for kind of each retry. And so so you can go ahead and create a bunch of templates. They also have some pre-built templates here. And so you see you can review for a reward, happy experience check-in, just a normal review request. So we can go ahead and click on edit this template and we can change it. And this is where we can go ahead and add that nifty image link. So what you're able to do now is this link you get from nifty images, it uses a merge tag, right? And so we're able to add the custom URL here and then we're able to add curly bracket, curly bracket, contact, dot first underscore name. So Nifty Images personalize these review requests we send out. It looks something like this, right? So you can auto populate the customer you're requesting the review from. You can auto populate their first name on the image to get their attention and get a higher review conversion rate. And so what you can do is just set up a Nifty Images account, grab your link and then remove uh, everything after the equal sign. And then if you go back here, you can upload that link, click on the plus sign, and you can grab the contact's first name. So contact first name, there you go. You can see curly bracket, curly bracket, contact dot first underscore name. And now that'll be added. So every time the review request goes out, it'll have that personalized image on it. And so you can adjust the verbiage, include the link in here. Also, what's really cool this, we can save this template, but also what's really cool is now this gives us more flexibility when people are um, might want reviews on multiple different platforms they can just come here, upload, you know, connect all the different plat platforms under the integration section here, Google, you know, and all these other ones. And then what you can do is you can do review balancing really easily, right? So once again, if someone was like, hey, I want reviews here and here and here, it's pretty difficult to change the links and set up some automations to, to make sure the links are being changed. But you can go ahead and, you know, add, add a link in here. And then you can basically configure the balancing so that you're changing between Facebook or Google or whatever um, and, and splitting that percentage.
and we can go ahead and create another template real quick. We'll just use like a follow-up one. So like a quick feedback nudge one here. On the follow-ups, you probably might not want to send the personalized image. It'd just be more expensive because that MMS is a lot more expensive. And then you can just save it. And then you can set kind of the order, right? So the first one, we want to do the request review, the retry, we want to do uh, the quick feedback nudge, and then you can add up to five more here, right? And so to actually trigger off this review request now, the workflow looks really simple. So this is what the old workflow used to look like. You can see it's got all this stuff in here. You know, basically it's checking custom values. I have all these exp explanations here for my affiliates. Speaking of, if you want to get started with high level, you want to start making some money with high level, maybe, um, you know, start your own marketing agency or, or SaaS, white level SaaS, feel free to sign my link down below in the description. You'll get an extended 30 day trial and then you'll get access to our community with over 700 people in there using high level to start making some semi-passive income and, and you know, hopefully achieve some freedom. And so, yeah, you can see super complex workflow, you know, waiting certain days, this is the follow-up stuff. So if they want to be more aggressive, we'd have to change it in the custom values and it would go down all this. And when this stuff breaks, it just gets hairy, right? And also you're not going to tell the business you're working with to come and edit that workflow themselves, right? And so now the workflow literally looks like this. Um, you can still trigger it off of basically an integration. So we could do like tag added, contact tag, um, we'll do the tag added as customer. So you could either just add the customer tag within the contact section of high level, or you could add the customer tag through Zapier. That's normally what you know we would do to the integration or something. So that would be the trigger. And then literally all it is, is just review request. That's it. You can select the type. We want to do an SMS review request. We want to not override the link. If you choose to override the link, you can add a, you know, a separate link there and yeah, save the action and then you just duplicate it, copy this, and we'll do one for the email. And you're good to go. And the same goes for email now. So if we go to email, save this, look how simple that workflow is. And now it's dynamically, you know, sending a review request. If they haven't left a review, if they haven't clicked the link to leave a review, it's following up with the right verbiage in the right format without, you know, going through the whole hoopla of getting it all set up within the, the uh, automations here. And the same thing goes for email requests, right? So now you can still set the settings that if they don't repeat, so if they haven't left your review, you can go ahead and, and um, you know, follow up every three days, every week, et cetera. And then you can set the email templates, right? So you can set, I want, you know, this to be the first repeat email template. Um, I want this, I just want to do the default one. Um, and you can add up to five here. So it's going to get really flexible. And you, once again, you can create training on showing your own users how to create their own email templates that they like to and how to adjust the, you know, the aggressiveness, because this is actually really easy to do. And you could even now, there's a lot of stuff we needed to give them access to because we were kind of duct taping things together and making it sketchy. Now you can remove almost everything on the side menu here besides like contacts, reputation. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, in conversations if you want to show them that. Um, but you don't even have to show them that, you know, they, they don't need to have access to that. That might just create some more support requests. So yeah, that's the new feature. What I'm really excited about is now the review invites will be tracked properly. So we are kind of doing this in, once again, a duct taped solution. We we're just sending, sending a dummy review request to get the invite to go out. But then what would happen is you go to request and it would say a bunch of failed requests, right? Uh, and they'd be like, why are all the review requests failing? And so then you had to hide requests. And so this is just making things so much sim simpler, so much more streamlined. Um, they'll be able to see the invites. They'll be able to see kind of their sentiment, get an idea of conversion rate. Um, and so that's really awesome. And then also they added competitor analysis here recently. So you can go ahead and add other competitors in, in your area to the users that you're working with or the, the businesses you're working with. And so then keep tabs on their competitors as well. So super stoked on this feature. Thanks so much for High Level for shipping this out. And I can't wait for it to help everybody simplify automations. If you want to get started with High Level, feel free to sign up my link down below in the description. Once again, extended 30 day trial. You'll get a couple calls a week with me. Um, and also you can get a one on one call with High Level to, that, so they can help you onboard. So have a great one. And if you like this video, you're probably interested in how you can kind of set up your own high level agency. Check out this next one here.